Have you noticed, ladies and gentlemen, there's a new thing in motion pictures now? They take the titles of the pictures and they turn them into songs. Now, you just heard Friendly Persuasion? That was from Friendly Persuasion. Now, there's Written on the Wind. What I got to tell you? It was from Written on the Wind, written. There's a new song I heard today that's based also on a motion picture. A very beautiful thing. It's entitled Mon, Pa, Kettle, Meet Frankenstein. <laughs> it's a waltz. <laughs> <laughs> and now... On this big show here for the big O, Oldsmobile, oh, you made it. we present a very lovely lady, a very, very gifted artist, a very, very wonderful performer, and a former Academy Award winner, Miss Eva Marie Saint, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you, Evie? You look beautiful, and how is your beautiful baby? Oh, he's wonderful. Thank you, Jerry. I hear you're about to become a father again. Yep. Patty and I are all prepared for the new one, and I've been out buying baby clothes like crazy. I've been buying baby clothes. Me. Yeah, what kind? Well, girls' clothes, and the only reason I'm buying them is because I'm too nervous to knit. <laughs> but I'd like to explain it. The reason I'm buying the clothes is because it's a wonderful thing, and I'm looking forward to, like, you know, a child, and I'm getting pink little dresses, and aprons and petticoats and cute little kinds of things like that. Supposing it's a boy. He'll wear the dresses and I'll teach him how to fight, that's all. <laughs> the nominations for Best Music Score of a Dramatic or Comedy Picture are Alfred Newman for Anastasia, Victor Young for Around the World in 80 Days, Hugo Friedhofer for Between Heaven and Hell, Dimitri Tiomkin for Giant, and Alex North for The Rainmaker. May I have the envelope? The winner is Victor Young. <laughs> I'd like to thank you so much on the behalf of the late, great Victor Young and his family. And I'd like to say that I think this is the most wonderful thing that the industry has done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eve, and thank you, Liz, for accepting. To announce the winner of the best scoring of a musical picture, the Academy sent a camera crew abroad to capture a gentleman who is in the Oscar race for best performance by an actor. He is one of the stars of Giant. Mr. Rock Hudson, okay? Let's get out the film on rock and roll. <laughs> film on rock and roll. Hello. You're looking at a fellow whose heart is right there with all of you at the Pantages Theater tonight, for more reasons than one. But instead, here I am in a little spot called Miserina in the heart of the Dolomite Mountains in Italy, where on this very day we are starting a little picture called A Farewell to Arms. I tried to get them to change the location from Miserina to the corner of Yucca and Argyle, but somehow it isn't quite the same. So. One of the things I was looking forward to this evening was the opportunity of presenting the award for the best scoring of a musical picture. And there were plenty of them this year. The nominees are Lionel Newman for The Best Things in Life Are Free, Morris Stoloff and George Dunning for The Eddie Duchin Story, Johnny Green and Saul Chaplin for High Society, Alfred Newman and Ken Darby for The King and I, George Stoll and Johnny Green for Meet Me in Las Vegas. Now let's open the envelope and see which of these greatly talented people is the winner. The winner is The King and I, Alfred Newman and Ken Darby. Ken, congratulations. Well, thank you so much. Thank you again. You want to keep this up? Congratulations, Alfred and Ken.